What is going on guys? My name is Alex and I am super excited to bring this video for you guys today because in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to record your videos with Bandicam professionally or you want or how to record professional videos with Bandicam, how you want to call it. And I know that it's Friday but usually I would upload a Vegas 15 tutorial on Friday. You guys know the schedule but you know I'm working on a sponsored video. The sponsored video needs to be approved by the company so it takes a while to that's going to be scheduled for hopefully Monday and lastly maybe Wednesday. So with that being said, let's go to our computer and I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do. Okay, so now that we are on uh, Bandicam.com, I will also leave the link in the description for you guys. Once we've landed on this website, what you can do is you can first decide what you want to do. Do you want to record your games? Do you want to just regularly record your screen? Or you want to do go ahead and do device recording? I'm going to pick screen recording. So once we've decided that, we have two options. We have free download and we have get the full version. I can already expect some comments like, Alex, can you please make a video how to to get Bandicam for free, get the free version, and if you really want to use it and you want to invest in your own channel, make sure to just buy the full version. So what we're gonna do now is if we click on get full version, you'll probably see all the options. Most of the time you're gonna pick for just one PC. It is only $39, so that's a very, very affordable price for the full version. And we also have so many different payment options, it's crazy. We can also use PayPal, Bitcoin, you can use a credit credit card, you can use anything you like that's listed on this website. So if you want the full version, what you're gonna do is just go ahead and get yourself a copy of Bandicam. For now, we're gonna go back and we're gonna click on a free download. It says uh, your operating system and the download button. At the bottom, we have like, if for example, if you are registered, you will have like unlimited time to record for over 24 hours. And if you're unregistered, you have only have 10 minutes per file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to just click on download Bandicam. We're going to basically wait until uh, the installer pops up right here. It is and right now we're going to install this onto our computer and then we're going to move up from there. All right, so this is the installer. We are going to pick uh, English for our main language. We're going to click on OK. Then we're going to go to Next. We're going to pick I agree. And right here, you can also choose if you want to have uh, like a desktop icon and so on. I want that. So we're going to go to Next again. We're going to choose the location and we're going to just hit Install. I'll see you guys right when this is done. Okay, so now that the installation is done, you can choose to run Bandicam when we click on finish. I'm just going to click on finish as you can see. And right now it's going to open up Bandicam. And then I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use this program accurately. Okay, so right now when we open up Bandicam, you can just go ahead and for example, pick uh, a, a rectangle area that you want to record. Or you can just go ahead and hit full screen or just pick game recording. So we're going to first start off with the settings. So we're going to go to general and right here if you go to this tab you can actually choose a location where you want to save your recorded file so if you're just gonna leave this default it will go ahead and install into just Alex Alford documents Bandicam but we can change this to our desktop or external hard drive or anything like that so once we've done that uh, we can just go ahead and see if Bandicam Windows always on top start Bandicam minimize to tray run Bandicam on Windows startup start full screen recording on Bandicam startup set timer for auto start recording. So I'm just gonna leave everything uh, blank. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to decide which option fits best for you. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next tab which says FPS. And right here, as you can see, you can choose to have the FPS overlay on your screen. So when you're recording, for example, a game, for example, Fortnite, you will also see at the top your uh, FPS. Well, if you want to record for YouTube, for example, and you don't want to show your FPS, you can just go ahead and uncheck it, and then it will not be shown anywhere on screen. And right here, we have the FPS limit. We have a hotkey or set FPS to limit too, but I'm just gonna leave that to the default. I'm gonna uncheck it because I don't really like the FPS counter on the top of the screen. 
screen. So I'm just going to uncheck it for now. Then we're going to go to the video tab. And right here, you can go ahead and press, for example, a key, a record and stop hotkey. For example, F12. If you press that, it's going to automatically start recording and stop recording. You can also pause the recording with a hotkey. Uh, you can choose if you want to have your mouse cursor visible over the screen. You can also add mouse click effects and add a webcam overlay if you really want to. I would not recommend that because I would recommend record your face cam separately so you can animate it in the editing or you can just go ahead and reduce the lag by letting out the face cam. Okay, at the bottom we see the format which says MP4. It says H.264 CPU full size 30 frames per second and the audio is AAC advanced audio coding 48 kilohertz and 192 kbps. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on settings and we're gonna raise this guy all the way until the maximum, which usually should be 320. But in this case, it is 192 is the max, leave it at that. And obviously you can just go ahead and choose your FPS. If you want to have the quality on 100, I would really recommend to use this setting only if you have a decent to a powerful PC. Otherwise, if you're gonna run on a, if you're gonna run this on a very low end PC, you might cause some lag with this. So we're gonna move up and we're gonna put the FPS to 60 because that is the smooth this obviously we're gonna click on OK and at the bottom we have image in the next tab which is obviously the hotkeys and format and for example you just want to pick JPEG if you want to save screenshots for example that is just optional and really up to you So now that we have done the complete run through of the settings what we can actually do is we can just pick full screen for example and then at the top you will see uh, all the, the buttons which were disappeared very quickly there and obviously as you can see it says display one at the top that means that it's going to record this display and once we are going to go ahead and start recording we're going to just click on start recording and now the program is basically recording as you can see we have 118 gigabytes free for footage as you can see it's the counter is going up as well and you can also see how much you already recorded in terms of size so that's a really nice feature and for example let's say that you want to pause this guy on 1.5 megabytes we're going to wait and then hit stop and then we're going to go to the folder that we saw earlier to find our file. Okay guys, as you can see, this is the documents Bandicam and this is the recording that we just made, which is only like a couple of seconds long. And now you're wondering, Alex, you have showed us how to set it up and how to use it. How do I make them professional? Well, it's really simple. You want to go ahead and open your editing software. And for my subscribers, I, you know, it's probably going to be Sony Vegas or Vegas Pro 15. So we're going to go ahead and actually open up Vegas Pro. You can use Premiere Pro, you can use After Effects, you can use just your main editing software. So right now Vegas Pro is booting up and we're gonna go ahead and adjust this file just a little bit to just make it look a little bit more professional instead of just recording a video and uploading it to YouTube directly because let, let's be honest, if you want to make quality videos, you probably have to edit them as well. It doesn't mean that you have to edit a lot in the video, but just go ahead and, you know, for example, cut out any stutters, ums, or silences, anything like that. Okay guys, Vegas Pro 15 is now booted up. We're gonna go back to the folder and we're going to just drag this guy into our editing. Now, as you guys can see at the top, it says www.bandycam.com. And you probably guys are gonna also ask me uh, beside how to get this program for free is how to remove that watermark. Unfortunately guys, if you want to have this watermark removed, you need to license this program, which is only 40 bucks. But aside from that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna edit this. What I can already see is that the, the screen can use a little bit more saturation and brightness and everything. So we're gonna go to the effects tab right here and we're gonna scroll down until we see brightness and contrast. And we're gonna drag the default one on top of the clip. Now, as you can see, those three markers pop up and you don't want to mess with the brightness because if you mess with the brightness, you're gonna make it oversaturated or just way too dark. So we're gonna put this one back to default and we're gonna only adjust the contrast. So we're gonna bring the contrast up a little bit and I want you guys to pay attention to the screen and what happens. So if I go ahead and drag the contrast a little bit more, as you can see, it just powers up the footage just a little bit because there is quite of a difference between 
this and this as you can see so this is how you edit them professionally obviously you can also record audio with it and then you can just go ahead and add your commentary but this is how to make it look professional just add in some effects you can also add in color correction if you guys feel the need to but this is basically how to record and edit your videos professionally with bandycam so that's going to be it guys and this is how to do it so that's it guys, that is how you record your videos professionally with Bandicam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos, like separate ones for example, apart from my series on YouTube. So that's it guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on Monday on a brand new video as always. So I'll catch you guys obviously on Monday.